Because even the parents didn't know when their children were gone. They, they'd come and visit and they'd, their children weren't there, they were already buried. I'm glad I was put where I was rather than here. Mm -hmm. I would hate to have been here mm -hmm. as a little kid. And my heart goes out to these people who are adults now. You have a way of life when you're growing up with your parents. You grew up traditionally. And we lost all that when we come here. We used to get lickings if we talked pseudo. When we first came, we got all our hair cut short. We were called pagans and all that. Told we were going to be nothing but jailbirds. But there's a lot of children that came here and never went home. I don't know what kind of a fever they had up in these in that time. Before the old school burnt down, there was a lot of uh, children that were buried around the grounds here. But usually they just covered them and left them. Because uh, even the parents didn't know when their children were gone. They, they'd come and visit and they'd, their children weren't there, they were already buried. I believe there's some all along up into the north end here, and there's some back on the, sort of on the east end of the school. And when they were digging a water line, there was one right on the west end of the school, or northwest end of the school, with boys' playroom. Yeah, right in, right in that square is up over there. That's where I, pretty sure where that the old graveyards are. Got that creepy feeling, you know, like you're being watched or whatever. And that's when I noticed the crosses were in there. Eh? Like you know, they're built kind of lower to the ground. So as soon as I got home there, I went and talked to my mushroom there, and uh, he was telling me, yeah, that's a old graveyard up there. Well, I worked here from uh, 1987 until 2011. I worked as the uh, boiler operator, me and my brother and a few other men from the reserve. And we would work a shift from 10 o'clock till uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Seen children, I seen spirits. I seen uh, people looking at me. And like I said, I was, I never grew up here. And I grew up with different, the Christian way. And for me to come into a community and see this, it's mind boggling, but true, because I've experienced it. There was a barn over there and they used to have gardens here. And then back in the, I'd say about the eight, late 80s, early 90s, they were doing some excavation work and they came upon some human bones. And to this day, there is still other bones out there that have not been located or found yet. And this is kind of like a sacred area, so there's not going to be no development whatsoever until we, we finally got all of the kids home to where they rightfully belong. 